If you want someone to realize that they need life-saving medicine, first you need to convince them that they are seriously sick. To make us realize that we humans really need righteousness, Paul shows us how unrighteous all humans are. <laughs> In the first video, we saw that the gospel displays that God is good and just. And furthermore, that there is a problem called sin. Sin is all that is not right towards God and others. This is why sin is also called unrighteousness. Looking at the structure of Romans, we'll first dive into the problem part. Many people think and act as if God is just an old bearded man in the sky. But the book of Romans makes it clear that God is holy full of glory and perfectly righteous. That is awesome news if you desire God and His righteousness. However, if you hate righteousness, you will hate the truth that God shines into your life and you will want to suppress it. And that makes you guilty before the Almighty God. Romans 1.18 says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. So. God is angry because man suppressed the truth. What does suppress mean? Mm -hmm. Suppress means that you hold the truth, but you don't live according to it. That's what chapter 1 to 3 are about. There are three truths that people prove to have by their action, but which they don't live out. And actually we can compare chapter 1 to 3 with the courtroom scene. Each chapter shows a specific truth and how it is not put into practice before a holy God. First, there are people who have knowledge of God and worship the creative power. However, not according to the truth that God has revealed them in creation. Namely, that the Creator has divine power and is not human. But men worship humans and animals as their God. Thereby, they make gods in their image and try to suppress the truth that God is really divine, almighty, eternally praised above them. And as a result of this, people fall into behavior that is completely against God. Oh, I'm not like these people, says the second category. I know this is bad. But just judging others does not make the truth holder any better. He knows more, but he does the same, so he's guilty as well. But I'm different, says the third. I'm a Jew and I have the law that Moses gave us. I can teach you if you want. Well, but just having the law isn't any better. He has the law and with it such an extreme knowledge about good and evil, but he does not practice the truth, so he's guilty as well. But who is good then? Nobody. Everyone uses their body to do things which are evil and the entire world is guilty before God, period. Whoa, that's heavy. Yeah, I know. But we'll see God's amazing solution in the next video. All right, this was already Romans 1, 2 and 3. Uh, maybe you can just open your Bible and reread it and see whether this is true. And otherwise, if you want to support us, just go to crosspaint.tv and we'll keep in touch. All right. And don't forget to subscribe.